Uh, you know, real super proud of the guys. You know, it's been a hard week in a lot of different ways. Um, a lot of, a lot of adversity. Um, you know, I thought we came out, set the tone, really played well, um, survived. You know, the Randall, unbelievable hot hand, survived getting down. You know, just kept making all the right plays, small plays, uh, right passes. Um, you know, got great contributions from everybody up and down the roster. Um, who went in the game. So, you know, and then obviously we made, played well and smart down the stretch and made enough, you know, really good plays. Kyle Anderson, the huge rebound, you know, so. You talk about up and down the lineup, just the efficient shooting in the first half yeah. at the end of the night. How refreshing was that to see the shots go in for Yeah, everybody? I mean, we've been encouraging those guys to just shoot the ball, trust it, you know. Um, we knew that if we did the right things on offense, we were going to create a lot of good looks against this uh, really good defense. Um, but, um, you know, TP was locked in right away. Uh, and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, he kind of re-rode his uh, wave here. So. Yeah, you uh, talked about, so you yeah. talked about pregame, that green light mentality yeah. for him. How nice was that to see it pay off for him, taking those shots and so efficient from deep? To yeah, deep. absolutely. I mean, was, I think, you know, and again, it started the other day. I thought the other day he was really committed to everything he did. Um, shots didn't go in, uh, but he didn't lose confidence, you know, and, and – uh, you know, he's been an extremely important player for us all season long. Um, you know, when he plays really well, obviously, it's just another dimension for us. Um, and then, you know, just the, and the, you know, the, the cut and the layup at the end off the, off the miss so, was huge. Friday was probably a, a moment you'd like to have back. Uh, how did you see him respond? Yeah, I mean, it's funny, you know, I've already forgot. I mean, it's crazy, like, the season is, is what it is, but... Um, games are coming so fast. Everyone's even more meaningful than the one before it. I kind of forgot all about Friday. Um, you know, um, I know how, you know, he felt about it and, uh, he made up for it tonight in, uh, you know, in a spectacular way. You talk a lot about, you know, the fight and the character this team has. This is much a character kind of fight moment win for, for this group that, as they've had all, all season? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I mean, there's been several, but, you know, this is, this we needed this one right now today. Like, this is uh, huge for us, you know. Um, absolutely, you know, no matter what's happening around the league, we keep preaching, like, all that's, you know, whether results go for you or against you, the only thing that matters is you continue to help yourself, and we needed to do that tonight. Um, and, you know, the guys been a pretty resilient, resilient group all year, so. What did you like about just the offensive response tonight? Yeah, I thought we played real strong. You know, everything we did was strong and sure and simple. Um, made the play that was the easy play that was right in front of us. I think that lent itself to the great shooting that some of our guys experienced tonight because they could really anticipate and track where the ball was going to come from. Um, you know, I thought did a good job of exploiting the, the things we talked about offensively before the game. So following the game plan was good. Coach, obviously Randall had the scorching first three quarters. Yeah. 52 points by the end of three, 26 in the yeah. fourth quarter. What change in the fourth quarter, left final 12 minutes, what adjustments did you really make to well, let everybody else beat you pretty much? Yeah, I mean, first of all, you know, guys took his space away a little bit better, got into him, you know, didn't give him the space for the step back, which he had going, um, you know, crowded him a bit more, um, you know, uh, he, he was making the tough turnaround on the block, you know, we, we kind of th threw one or two doubles at him. You know, sometimes, I mean, he's a phenomenal player. I coached him in New Orleans, he's a great guy, unbelievable offensive talent. Uh, sometimes guys kind of run out of gas too, you know, like it's not, you know, not going to stay that hot forever. Um, so we were taking a little bit, a little bit of a bet that as long as we, um, you know, we're in the lead, uh, you know, we didn't want to like compromise our defense everywhere else just to, to chase that as long as we had the lead. Then when we got down, it was different. Then we had to, you know, tighten him up a bit. We've seen a lot of guards play pick and roll with Rudy this season. What's been different about Mike and their connections since you've got him in town? I think patience, you know, is probably the thing that they have most together is just the patience. You know, uh, Mike comes off. He has an awareness of how and when Rudy's going to roll. Um, you know, and from that, he has great feel on what the defense is going to do. Are they going to come up? Are they going to bend back? Are they going to help in? Uh, you know, that obviously is just a learned skill from Utah. But... Uh, you know, Mike's been able to impart a lot of that, like, nuance to our guys. So I see, like, more and more of the little things uh, in pick and roll that, you know, we're, kind of, we're starting to benefit from. You know, not, every, not everyone can make all the passes Mike can make. 
um, as well as make the shots, but it, you know they're getting better.